Hey, it's JP Bailey here, creator of the Recovery Tapping blog and method. Um, I've been sick for about a week, so I'm trying to catch up on some of the videos I promised to make. So in this one, I just basically call it my EFT Tapping 101, you know, basic handout. I've been handing this out for years um, whenever someone's interested in tapping or I'm teaching someone tapping. So I just thought I'd go over it a little bit. These are uh, the, the first two pages are the tapping diagrams and instructions that I had made uh, for my book. So you got the full round, which I always suggest to do at least once a day or once before you do other rounds. If you do one full round, you basically get everything going and then from there you can do a bunch of little shortcut rounds and that makes it easier for the rest of that day or the rest of that session. Um, that's the best method that I found. I just do one long round and then the rest are shortcuts, <clears throat> meaning anything remaining, any aspects that come up, um, the choices method, you know, anything else, it's always just the shortcut round after we do one full long round. Um, then I made up a little chart and I do apologize. I know it's crooked. I'm not really, you know, a big fancy um, office here. I'm just scanning in and it went crooked, but I wanted to give you a, a little chart so that you could, you know, write the date, write the problem or the issue or the feeling you want to tap on, or maybe even write a list of them. And then one at a time, you know, measure them with the SUDS unit, one to 10, how distressful it is. And then as you're tapping, do the before and after uh, SUDS so that you can see your numbers going down, hopefully. Um, but at least this kind of gives you something to keep track of. And you can print out several of these. Um, what I would do is what I, I've always sort of done is I kind of list all the stuff that's stressing me out right now and I'll put the date and then I'll just start tapping on one at a time and I could do one a day maybe two or three a day until you know I get that list kind of taken care of and uh, move on to the next list. Sometimes you'll find if you write a whole long list and you get to tapping on them um, you'll find that some of them on your list don't really bother you as much anymore even though you haven't tapped on them yet. So that's how good tapping works. It kind of helps collapse a lot of uh, you know related issues. So just feel free to put down everything you can think of that you're stressed out about or upset about or want to get over or feel stuck or you know any problem that you can identify and measure and do the tapping on. And this is the EFT procedure kind of on a page with the little uh, diagrams of you know where they are. It's just one I found years ago. I've been using it um, probably since 2002. I don't remember where I got it. It might even be from Gary Craig's um, you know emofree.com where he first put out the free book for EFT. It looks kind of like his diagrams, but I usually throw that in for people. Um, this one was from Heaven on Earth or tapintoheaven.com. I'm not sure if there or if she is still there or not, but um, I always liked her little procedure here. It's called 10 Steps to Personal Peace. And she does it a little bit differently, but a lot of tapping techniques differ. Um, I just always start with the basic emo emotional freedom techniques 101 to kind of start people off. And then once they get used to it, um, they can really change it up any way they want. They can change the points they tap on. They can change the setup statements. And this is one I always... Um, light just because of the setup statements that she uses here and I found it effective as well so I threw that in there. Um, this is an old picture of the main meridian channels all the 
tapping points that we're tapping on are called meridian endpoints. In other words, that pathway of energy, that meridian line that are connected to organs like like the stomach meridian, the kidney meridian, etc. Each one of those energy pathways has a starting point and an end point, and we're basically tapping on the end points. This does come in color. I've seen it on the internet. I wasn't able to scan it in um, and capture the colors of these lines, but just to give you an idea, and that was from the Association for Meridian and Energy Therapies, or AM, the AMT.com. Um, so it's always good to learn a little bit about what are these tapping points and, you know, what are meridians and how does this relate to acupuncture and Chinese medicine and whatnot. Um, there are hundreds of actual points on the body where they can put needles to do the acupuncture, but all we have to learn are the 14 meridian endpoints, and they're pretty easy to memorize once you've tapped a dozen times or so keep the cheat sheets handy. Um, this one I found online a while back also many years ago and I, I've kept it because it's a nice um, diagram of uh, the points, the organ, and the emotional component of each one. So it's kind of good uh, education there. And then this is a really good comprehensive list of the um, you know, all the meridians, what they're called, and all the emotional components, and, you know, the treatment points. Um, so, I, I always do, like Gary Craig said, just tap on all the points. But if you feel like you really want to zone into a particular issue and really just want to zone in on that particular meridian point, then that's fine. I mean, experiment with it, play with it. As long as it's working for you, where your suds go down, your, your stress decreases, then that's the whole point of using it. Now, I do love Donna Eden and her energy medicine, and this is her famous uh, five-minute daily energy routine. I was looking for a handout with, um, you know, all the, uh, the movements, the energy moves that she recommends to do daily on one sheet of paper and this one um where did we get this one from uh, can't really read it oh carol total yeah so carol total wrote some really good books the remembering wholeness was a good book and i really love her energy types um i think it's called it's just my nature and she talks about how people have different personality or energy types and she does a very good explanation, actually. But obviously, great minds think alike, and we do like to include the daily energy routine. This, doing this in the morning or at three o'clock when you feel your energy low, um, is it, it's just an amazing way to boost your energy, get your energy going, and it really complements the tapping. So these are uh, energy moves that you do without any uh, talking or statements. They're just ways to increase your vitality, your energy, your metabolism, your sense of well-being, happiness. Um, I believe it just helps open up your energy, get your energy going. So it's a great lazy man's way to exercise in a sense because, you know, you could go jog around the block and and get energized or you could do five minutes of some energy moves and also feel energized it's a really good practice and this is something when I very first started in 2002 I came across you know uh, EFT came from TFT or thought field therapy and this was a little two-page explanation of how it works why it works a little bit of the history um, you know, and even talks about the um, Chinese medicine, you know, history a little bit there. So this whole packet, as I just call my EFT 101, and to get people started off uh, with tapping. Okay, so you're 
can download it, you can print it out, and um, use it as a cheat sheet. Okay, so that's it. Um, what I'm basically doing is trying to get a lot more information out there about mental health recovery and self-help wellness and alternative healing methods like the energy techniques. I also use some other uh, energy and NLP techniques to really help clear up issues, especially a toxic or abusive or codependent relationship type issues, you know, survivor, people who are in recovery. Um, it's really changed a lot of lives and helped get over some things quicker to use these tools. And that's why I'm really wanting to put it out there to let people know that you can do self-help wellness and healing. You can learn how to heal yourself. You don't always need a practitioner or therapist or a program, but there's a few things you do need. You do need social support. You do need to practice on a daily basis. You, know, you do need some kind of recovery model to follow, some kind of daily wellness program, and that's what I talk about in some of my other posts. Um, but just learning EFT and letting the mental health uh, field know that this is available. There's uh, research studies. It works. Try it. Give it a try. It's free. You can always find a practitioner and even just one session will really learn a lot so that you can continue doing it on yourself in the privacy of your own home, just like I did for many years. And I cleared up a lot of issues and really changed my whole life around um, by doing this. So um, right now I'm giving away my book for free uh, on my blog using tapping for codependency issues and I've got a lot more coming. I've got some coaching that I want to offer down the road and um, I'm hoping to do some training and teach people some non-tapping energy techniques and some NLP techniques that really complement this whole healing and recovery process, speed things up, and um, kind of get your head clear of the stuff that you're maybe stuck with or struggling with or that holds you back. Um, just amazing stuff here, and it can really help with whatever recovery program you're already in or you know whatever your doctor says of course do that I'm not a doctor I'm not a psychiatrist I'm a trained psychologist but I'm not a licensed psychologist just for you people who are sticklers on that but I am an expert in mental health and recovery and with tapping and many other techniques that I've been doing for many years. So I wanted to share this and kind of get it out there. And also to kind of let the people know who are into tapping and EFT that there's a whole lot of mental health and the mental health recovery and wellness model that they might not be aware of. So I want to make everyone aware of all the tools that are available um, to help because there are millions of people suffering and whatever helps you know, is, is helpful. And if it's not helpful, then, you know, put it aside and go for something else. But I wanted to provide some cheat sheets and some explanation and, and things like that on my blog. So um, take good care, take action, keep tapping, and we'll see you on another video. Bye-bye now.